Hi, I'm DJ Clark, and we're here in Tunis on a World Press Photo workshop, and I'm here with Matt Ford, another of the trainers. We have 10 participants here, but we're now talking to everybody about audio equipment. Yes, and this is one of the first areas where you're going to start spending money when you're starting to kit up for DSLR video, because your camera already does a pretty good job with the video, but it's horrible with audio, so that's where the real accessories start to come into play. Okay, and now I started in the last video, I talked about having a sound recorder, a basic sound recorder, and having a shotgun microphone, um, and also having a tie clip microphone as three components that you're going to need to get good sound. So once you've got those, and you're starting mm. to, to get good enough quality, and you want to go up to the next stage, what, what else do you think that you can add to your kit that's going to improve your audio? Well, the first jump up, I think, is getting an audio recorder that has XLR inputs because that's where most of the serious audio equipment is. If you want better mics, they're probably gonna be XLR mics. And so with a nice you know, recorder that has XLR inputs, it opens up a whole nother world of recording devices for you. And why are XLR um, inputs better than just a normal jack that we, we have? Um, for one, the, the, the contacts are more secure. You know, they're not gonna like pop out. You know, you're bouncing around in a crowd with, with these mics with just the, the mini jacks and it's possible for them to get moved out a little bit and you might not actually be recording sound. Sure, yeah. So if you, if you don't have your headphones in, you might not even notice it. I've had a lot of people come back and they have great video, but it's just dead air and then it be, the video becomes unusable. So this sound recorder has got um, the XLR inputs, which is gonna give you a, a wider choice of microphones. What microphones would you wanna plug into that? All right, well, for starters, so we talked last time about these, you know, these short shotguns that basically we put them on, on board our cameras so that they don't go out past the lens, so they don't poke us in the eye. Sure. But if you upgrade to that, if you have a stabilization rig that can take wider accessories, you can also upgrade the kind of shotgun. You know, the longer the barrel, you know, the more accurate you're going to get. Sure. So, um, so this is a, this is Rode. There's Sennheiser ones that are very good like this as well. And this you can run straight into the recorder if you've got it all mounted on some kind of rig. Okay, so the camera's going to be mounted on the rig and the, um, the microphone goes on the rig as well. So it doesn't mm -hmm. have to worry about getting in the, in the way of, of the camera. Mm -hmm. I also like to, to think about using a mixer. I use a mixer with my kit. This mixer here gives me three XLR inputs, which makes... Um, life good in terms of getting additional uh, microphones and I, if I'm doing an interview I can mic not just the person I'm interviewing but also possibly myself or the reporter right. who's asking the questions and then on the other side here I have levels that I can change because one of the issues that we have with the DSLR cameras is that when we're recording we can't change the levels right yeah, absolutely and that makes it really complicated if you're in the middle of the interview and you realize your levels are too high or too low with this i can just tweak it as i'm listening to it yeah and that's a very common feature on video cameras and a lot of people who move from shooting on video cameras to shooting on dslrs are frustrated that they can't finesse the audio as the interview is going on and that's a great solution okay the other thing that we have talked about in the previous one is having a tie clip with a long line now a long line makes it very mobile, easy to carry. It also means that um, we can, you know, we, we don't have to spend a lot of money on the microphone. But mm. if I want to, to sort of go up to the next level, what would you suggest? Well, so if you've got your, your mixer, or if you've got a recorder with XLR inputs, then you can basically, you know, take one of these wireless packs, plug them in, mount them on your rig, and use a and then put this on your subject. And this is great because your subject can go pretty much anywhere they want. So you can take a distance back, you can be halfway across the room or even a field and you're gonna hear what they're saying, hear what they're interacting with, but you can get a variety of shots from different angles and different distances with no worry about tripping people up or being on a leash to your subject. It gives you a lot of flexibility and great sound if you're following, particularly if you're following one character. The other thing mm. with my wireless kit is it also has the addition of having a headphone socket because if I'm putting this into a, a, a DSLR which doesn't have a headphone socket, it means that I'm still gonna be able to monitor the sound, not the sound that is being recorded on the camera, but at mm. least I'm getting an idea of, of how good my sound is. Right, and the, the one thing you have to watch out for with these is that inter interference does happen. So whenever you're using wireless things, I turn my iPhone off whenever I'm using wireless packs because every now and then you get a, a clicking sound right. and it, can, it usually ruins the best sound bite that you've recorded in the interview. Sure. So. so in summary, 
When you want to upgrade a little bit to better sound equipment, we're suggesting that you look at getting a recorder that's got a XLR input, either a recorder like this or a little mini mixer, which gives you, as I said, better quality microphones. To invest in maybe a better shotgun microphone, like this one here that we can mount on a rig rather than on the camera, mm. but bringing in through the, the sound recorder or through the mini mixer and a radio mic. A radio mic is going to make our life a lot easier. Absolutely.